Okay, now there's three problems on this assignment. You got three problems on your own, okay? You don't have to do all the examples. At, you have to watch three examples because there's going to be two things that arise. They're not hard to handle, but solve the equation. Y equals X plus 3, Y equals X minus 1, okay? You have Y and X both in this. Yep, you do. Okay, remember this is X, this is Y, and you're trying to find the coordinate where they cross. Okay, Y and X are here. Y is by itself, so that makes it easy. M and B. So slope is 1, Y int is 3, 1 over 1. So I go to 3, 1, 2, 3, and I go up 1, forward 1, up 1, forward 1, and then I take my straight edge, I'm going to use my name plate here, and make the graph. Okay, and the other equation, we have y equals x minus 1, okay? So, mb, slope 1 over 1, the y int is minus 1. Now, this is a situation that you haven't seen before. Up one, forward one, up one, forward one. Little problem here. The lines are never going to cross. They are parallel. When the lines are parallel, and they're going to be parallel because they have the same slope. Remember parallel, when you wrote equations for parallel, you use the same M. So they're parallel. When they are parallel, it's no solution. Okay, it means that coordinate cannot be filled. Now, next one: y equals negative x minus four, and four x minus y equals negative one. Okay. Okay, so I line up my equations. Y and X are here, Y is by itself, so the M would be negative 1, B is negative 4. So the slope and the Y intercept are right there for me. So negative 1 over 1 and minus 4. Okay, remember this is the Y, this is the X. So on the Y axis we go 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, down 1, forward 1, down 1 over 1. I take my ruler. Four x minus y equals negative one. Okay. Now we don't get so lucky here. The y has to be isolated, so I apply a one as a coefficient, make it a plus negative. We do not want it to be negative, so we need to do the switch. Four would become negative. One would become positive, which is the point, and then positive. Okay. Now take out your negative four x. That's now a negative four x. So we take it out like we always do by adding it. So you have 1 times y. That's 4x plus 1. Divide by 1, divide by 1, divide by 1. So y equals 4x plus 1. M, B. So the slope we now is, know is 4. The y int we know is 1. 4 needs to have a 1. And then so I go up 1, then up 4 over 1. Up four over one. Okay. Now these ones cross just like yesterday, so I mark the crossing point. So on X, remember zero's in the middle, so I have to go left, so it's negative one. Then on y, zero's in the middle, and I have to go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So negative 3. Okay, I think I'm only going to do one more in this video here, because I think you'll be set after that. I really do. And I'm going to tell you which examples you cross out. 
six x minus two y equals six, three y equals nine x minus nine. So we're gonna table. Okay, y and x are here. You have to get the y by itself. Okay, and unfortunately, it's a negative. So negative, positive, negative. Now you eliminate your negative 6x by adding 6x. Okay. And then I make a 0x so that I have a place to add 6x here. So we have 2 times y. Okay. It's going to be 6x minus 6. And I go divide everything by 2. Okay. 6 over 2 is not a decimal. 6 divided by 2 is 3. You need to be putting 3. And then minus 3. Okay, so slope, y -int. So the slope is 3 over 1. The y-intercept, minus 3. So 1, 2, 3. Up 3, forward 1. Okay, then the other one, 3y equals 9x minus 9. A little bit weird here. I mean, the y and the x are, I mean, uh, you got y and x, both of them. The y is not quite by itself, okay? But this is a little easier because the x is already where it needs to be, okay? I just need to go divide by 3. So I don't need to add or subtract the x. So y is equal to 3x minus 3. Now we're going to start here, and you're going to wonder what the heck is this, okay? You're like, you must have miswrote something. No, I didn't, okay? 3 over 1 minus 3. Well, I go to do this, and, well, I already have that point. Up 3 over 1, I already got that point, and I already got that. It's the same line, okay? When they are the same line, okay, you can't fill out the coordinate, but you don't write no solution. That's when the no solution, that's when they're parallel. When they are the same line, the answer is expressed as infinitely many solutions, okay? You can abbreviate that if you want to put I-M-S, okay? So those are all the situations, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this, and I'm not going to do this, because I think you're ready to roll, okay? There's nothing there. Number two, I got a warning for that one, okay? Just watch it if you want. The X isn't normally where it's at. That's fine, okay? We still have to be isolating the Y, okay? So that's the one we pay attention to. It's positive. We don't need to, if you want to make that plus negative one, that's fine. But it's the Y you're still paying attention to, and it's already positive, so we check that, okay? And then you add 1X, make your 0X, and add 1X there. I'm just warning you, because you're used to having it have the X, then the Y, but it can be Y and then X. You're still paying attention to the Y and getting Y by itself.